Hi everybody, it's Joe here again. It's been a while since I made a, another video. Uh, this particular video, uh, I'm going to talk about my homemade uh, atomizer, just using uh, hardware components that basically you can find anywhere. The reason why I made this uh, was uh, for the purpose of uh, atomizing fuel for my afterburner on my turbojet engine that I built. Um, there's a lot of great people out there, especially on uh, YouTube, that uh, that have a lot of information on uh, on turbojets. Uh, meaning, you know, Colin Firth, really nice gentleman, and uh, RC Don, he's made some beautiful, I mean, great, great things. Uh, and uh, gentleman uh, Gary Packham, uh, who's made uh, turbojet engine and and put it on his um, tractor, I think lawn tractor, and uh, just. Uh, brilliant-minded people, um, and I just thought I'd share some of my uh, my insight on in, on how I made this. Um, first off, basically, uh, this can be used. Uh, I've used this on a fuel. You can you put water in here. Um, I'm not sure about oil. I'm not sure sure if you can use like an oil heater or burner uh, with this, but you could try it out and see if it see what happens. But uh, please be careful don't take my word for anything um, I'm just showing you guys on what I've made what I've created and maybe it'll help you because I couldn't find any atomizers out there you know for what I wanted and it was pretty expensive anyway so I just thought you know what the heck with it I'm gonna make my own and uh, see what happens from there and uh, sharing this information with with all of you so first starters again this is a brass uh, T fitting um, with all uh, female connectors. I got a hose barb, a male connector, a quarter inch, and uh, as well as a quarter inch here with a male and a 3 8 female adapter with a uh, 3 8 plug that, uh, that I've drilled a hole in. How this works is basically I use compressed air and fuel or whatever it is is, is kind of compressed here with a, you know, I use a um, basically a fuel pump and a fuel pump and basically sprays out with the air and sprays a beautiful mist coming out so that's all how it works uh, there's another gentleman that uh, you know that makes beautiful pulse jets is that uh, Bob Maddox guy and uh, just incredible work that guy is brilliant uh, as well and I'm often kind of wonder because I've built some pulse jets in the past and uh, often wonder you know how he kind of uses the air to make that fine mist and I believe you know he had I don't know if he makes his own nozzles but um, I've used that kind of theory and I used it with this and that's the next thing what I want to do is, is use this to atomize fuel for pulse jet engines so again I'm just sharing it with people on how I made this and now I'm gonna take this thing apart and just show exactly what what's inside so anyways I'm gonna take this hose barb off just like that and as you can see, I have a little brass tube, a tube that's inside and kind of crimped like three sector areas. What this tube is, I uh, basically put it in this hose barb, and sometimes they're really small, but you can drill a hole, you know, use a drill and increase the, uh, like, like this here. See the hole in here? That brass tube may not fit in here, so just drill the hole in here, make it a little bit bigger, and that brass uh, tubing will fit in there. And then I soldered it in place. And uh, I highly recommend, instead of just normal solder, use that silver solder. That silver solder looks like it, it really withstands to heat a lot better than just normal solder. So if anybody kind of thinking of making this for some sort of jet engine use, uh, use the silver solder. probably works a lot better. Um, anyways, what this is, I've, as you can see, it's crimped up here. And a gentleman uh, named uh, Gary Packham from the UK told me about doing this. And the reason why I did this was um, when the air passes through, it follows here and then goes down in these nick and crannies. And what happens is the air follows through really high pressure and comes out of that nozzle right here. And it really makes that, that, uh, that liquid fuel atomized with the air around it. So it really helps it. And... Uh, Gary wrote to me back and said, yeah, Joe, all you need to do is um, place this tubing inside of a chuck from a drill, which is right here. So basically what I did was uh, I took the tube, put it in the drill chuck, okay, and then once I, once I put it into the drill chuck, I tightened it and tightened and tightened and tightened, tightened all the way until I couldn't do it anymore. 
And because this tube is really thin walled, it's really easy to crimp like this. And it just makes it just beautiful uh, to atomize uh, fuel. So I'm just going to put that here. So that's how that generally works. Now I'm going to talk about the plug. I took the plug here and I drilled a hole right through. And as you see, you know, that's the front and that's the back. Now, looking a close up at this, you can see that I drilled the hole. Uh, I drilled the hole right here and I also drilled around it. So that way, um, this can actually, you know, fit inside there really nice so the air can pass through it a little bit better and atomize it even better. So that's how that generally works. So if you put that here beside it, that's what it looks like inside. How I soldered this on to make it exact was I took this little plug fitting, tightened it as much as I could, took the hose barb, tightened it as much as I could, then placed the tube inside there so it sat inside there really nice, and then I soldered it and then cut it off. So that's how I got it perfectly set inside there, uh, if anyone's wondering. The... Uh, Another important thing is the, the plug, um, the hole. I can't remember how big the hole is. I uh, start out with, a, I think, like a 1 16th or something like that. The smaller the hole, the less air pressure and less fuel um, is needed to atomize. And the more bigger the hole, the more air pressure and the more fuel needs to be pumped out to atomize. So that's 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 generally how that works. Um, people can experiment on that and do what they will, but uh, that's that's what I've known so far and how things work. And uh, yeah, so that's generally uh, that's generally it. And uh, if anyone wants to know how to do it, that's <laughs> this is my two cents anyway. So again, air one last time. The air goes through here, swivels around, goes through like the nicks and crannies, and goes through there with the fuel and air mixed and sprays out just beautifully out and I uh, hope that helps everybody out um, like to share my two cents and uh, and I'll uh, also connect a little uh, video on how well this works uh, with uh, with fuel or water thanks for watching guys take care all right so I'm outside right now and uh, there's that piece that I was telling you about um, that atomized I just have it off but uh, I wonder if it just focuses in there just a hair. There it is. Now you can see that there's a little pinhole in there. See that? Right in the center. And that's what you're looking for. So I'm just going to put that down just like that. I'm going to put that pump on and just going to see how much it sprays out. All right. See how it sprays out? So it sprays out quite a lot, actually, if you think. Okay, guys, so I'm outside right now. Uh, just a word of wise, just make sure you have a fire extinguisher kicking around as well. Um, I don't take any responsibility of other people's actions with this project. So uh, please be careful. And I'll show you a demonstration on, uh, on the atomizer. Okay. So, I got my little blowtorch. A little cup of fuel, gasoline. I'm going to leave that here, just on the floor. There's my atomizer. There's the fuel pump filter. And we're ready to have some fun. Okay, so I'm going to attach the fitting right now. It's pressurized to about 30 PSI. Turn that on. Put the... Uh, the fuel close by to the fire is. So everything's on, everything's all secure, safe. We've got our fire extinguisher and we'll just turn that on. So you can see it atomizes real nice. Really nice. Beautiful. Atomizes just wonderfully. Uh, even with the blowtorch down, even with that blowtorch down, let's put that here. Even with that blowtorch down, take a look how nicely it uh, atomizes. There we go. 
See that? Wonderful spray. That's what you want to see. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed.